Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add a camcorder effect to your video using iMovie and Keynote. MacMost is brought to you by a community of more than 350 supporters. Find out how you could become a part of that at MacMost.com slash Patreon. So you can add a camcorder effect to your video in a lot of different ways. You can use special apps, but those will usually overlay it live and you're stuck with it on the video. You can't really alter it afterwards. Or there are apps that only have a limited number of functions. You can also use a special effect in Final Cut Pro if you own it. But you could do the same kind of thing using just iMovie and Keynote. As a matter of fact, you can do it in a way that makes it very customizable. We're going to start off by going into Keynote. We want to choose a wide theme so it matches the video dimensions. And we're just going to go with a black background. I'm going to zoom out to fit everything into the slide and I'm going to delete the default text here. So there are a bunch of different elements I want to add. I want to add the little squared off corners. I want to add a red record dot and the word record, a date, maybe battery level, all sorts of things. So to add the corners I'm going to go to Shape and I'm going to click the Pen tool. Click once to put a point. And now to put the second point I'm going to hold the Shift key down so I have a horizontal line. And I'm going to draw it about to here. Click again. And then I'm going to hold the Shift key again and draw the vertical line like that. I'm going to hit Return so I'm finished and go to Format, Style and then change it to be a four point line. Now I'm going to drag it to the corner so I'm going to click off of it and click it again so I select it as an object drag to the corner. I want to move it away from the corner so I'm going to hold the Shift key and do the right arrow five times and the down arrow five times. By holding the Shift key I'm moving in steps of 10 instead of steps of 1 so I quickly move away from the edge. Now to duplicate it I'm going to hold the Option key, click and drag. and I'm going to drag it all the way to the bottom here. I'm going to move it away from the bottom with those five Shift up arrows. It already was moved away from the left because I was locking it to the position of the one on the top. I'm going to go to Arrange and Flip Vertically. So now I've got the left side here. I'm going to select both of these, Option Drag over to the right, and it will lock to these vertically. But I'm going to Shift Left Arrow five times so that it's away from there and then Arrange Flip Horizontally. Now I have my four corners. Next I want to do the red record circle. So I'm going to go to Shape, choose Circle and I'm going to drag this off here to the corner. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. I'll uh, hold the Shift key there as well so now it will shrink as a circle. It won't uh, just shrink in the one dimension. Get it to be a red dot about that size. I'm going to go to Style over here and change the color fill to red. Let's add some text. Click there and I'm going to add the text recording. Go and select it all and under text here I'm going to increase the size. Maybe 50 will be better. Now I'm going to drag this and put it right there. Now let's add some more elements. I can option drag the text here and put a copy of it down there. I'm going to go into text, left justify it. So now I can type and it will come out of the left side and I'm going to put a date. Now I'm going to put a battery here. Now I go to Shape. I don't have to create a battery shape. I can search for it and there actually is a battery shape there. So I can move this to the corner here. I will maybe adjust its size a little bit and I'm going to go to Style, change its color to white. I can also go here and go to Format, Shapes and Lines, Break Apart and it breaks apart the outside and the inside of the battery. Under Arrange, turn off Constrained Proportions. Now I can drag just one edge of it and make it look like the battery is being drained a bit. And I could do other things as well. I could create a little videotape icon down there. So I'm going to do a circle, Option Drag, move that apart, select both circles, go to Style, No Fill. Border is going to be Line Border at four points. Going to add a line there and move it so it snaps to the top of each circle like that and change that to four points as well. Add a little rectangle to it. Change that to no fill and a line border. Move it around. 
There we go. Select all of those and go to Arrange Group. Move this down to the corner here and shrink it a bit. I could have also used Shape and then done Record and there's this little camera shape there. I could use that. So now that I've got all this, I want to create an animation. I want to have the red dot blink. That will make it more than just a simple overlay. So to make the red dot blink, I'm going to control click on the slide here and duplicate the slide. And on the second slide, I'm going to delete the red dot. So I've got a red dot and no red dot. I'm going to go to the first slide here and under Animate, I'm going to set the transition to be automatic and one second delay. So this slide will automatically go to the next one after one second. I'm going to do the same thing for the second slide. So basically one second per slide and now it will blink. Now I can select both slides, shift clicking there, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and I can paste it in. And each time I paste it in, I'm adding two seconds here. So if I paste it in for a total of 30 slides, then I end up with one minute of video, which will be fine. So right now I'm going to make a video that has a black background. I need it to be a transparent background, and you can do that in Keynote. So the background for each slide is separate. So I'm going to select the first slide, go to the bottom and select the last slide with the shift key L down so it selects all slides. I'm then going to go to format and I can see here for slide layout I've got color fill for the background. I want to change that to no fill. So basically a transparent background. Now when I go to export the movie I can export to a movie and I can select resolution custom. Custom resolution I want to set to be 1920 by 1080 like video and I want to set it to Apple ProRes 4444. This provides for a transparent layer and you can even see there's a checkbox here, Export with Transparent Backgrounds. And it says it only applies if there's no fill set to the slide and I've set no fill for all slides. So I have that checked off. So now I can save this out as a video. So now I have this video overlay. All I need to do is apply it in iMovie. So I can drag and drop this overlay video in. I want to put it above the video here so it works as a cutaway. I don't want to put it in line with it or try to put it on top of it. So I put it above and now I can adjust it so it starts here at the beginning. I can see it says cutaway here which is what I want and you can see in the preview it already looks good. It's already overlaid on top of this and if I move the playback cursor you can see the dot blinks. So now when I play it, I get exactly the kind of effect I want. But I'm not done yet. So the next step is to make the video look like it's old camcorder footage. And you could do that with a filter. So I'm going to select the main video here and I'm going to go to the filters here. And I'm going to click on Clip Filter which is set to None. And there's one called Raster which works really well. So I'm going to select that one. And now you can see how definitely shows that it's just not standard iPhone video. It does look a little bit older. I can continue to work with it a bit if I want to click on color adjustments here and maybe adjust the color a little bit, desaturate it a little bit. I can play with all of this. You especially want to do this if you're mixing this camcorder footage with regular footage and that way it shows more of a contrast between the two. And now I can adjust the overlay here to match perfectly. If I need more than a minute's worth I could have always option dragged to create another copy of this overlay here and then had minute number two, minute number three as much as I need it. Now even if you have Final Cut Pro or some other app that gives you a camcorder effect, this may be better because you could really highly customize this. You know, I could put a flashing low battery message over this. I could say surveillance video. I could do all sorts of different things to make this look really cool and fit exactly what I want.